Hi YouTubers, Old Radio Isle here. This is a an RCA. It's a model 75 X11. It's from 1947. Another All American Five. I think this radio must have been designed by a, a, a World War II shipbuilder or a tanker or something like that. It's really a tough radio built the last heavy heavy case this is a brass front this dial plate is is lucite it's about a quarter inch thick what I really like about this radio, what really makes it pop in my opinion, let me turn the light off here, I'm not sure how well you can see it, is this lighted pointer, it's indirectly lighted, there's a bulb right in the center, and it, very distinct at night time. Not a huge RCA fan. Probably are to be based on their stuff. I think I have a might have a built-in bias against them. I think uh, that uh, David Sarnoff, he was the, the longtime head of RCA. I think he was really kind of a, a jerk. I don't know if you're familiar with uh, the Armstrong case, uh, Edwin Armstrong. Edwin Armstrong, he was one of the uh, real fathers of radio. He, he, uh, he developed a regenerative circuit early on, uh, working far or with uh, the forest. Well, it basically allowed you to ended up allowing you to listen to a radio without a headset. Uh, he developed super hat technology, and he also he he was uh, the father of FM frequency modulation. You know, uh, Sarnoff and RCA they first worked with Armstrong on it. Then they then they tried to kill it. Uh, they saw it as a, a threat to AM. And then later, he, uh, RCA headed the coalition that vir virtually stole FM. They lobbied and won and got the frequency range changed. So early FM sets now uh, won't, will not work. There was a long ongoing lawsuit and basically Armstrong just died a broken man. Just It's a very tragic story. You can look it up for yourself and read, read all that. I guess all those mobile types won all the money for themselves, all the glory. Anyway, you do still see some, uh, once in a while you'll pick up an old radio and it'll have uh, the Armstrong licensing label on it. It has a May, you know, RCA made some good stuff, um, you know, enough editorializing. I'm a big fan of their, their 45 players. It's a nice little radio and it's well made. Show you the I'll show you the case. Another another one of those that comes out the bottom. Has the bottom has a heavy metal plate on it, and this this radio is one that 
actually has disassembly instructions on it. The golden throat label. Brass shined up really nice. Use Wright's brass polish. I think it's a little better than brasso. Blue, and you don't know where to go to. Why don't you go where I'm? Let's give it a listen. Putting on the red. Spangle guns upon the best V of high browns from down the levee. All miss it. Putting on that certain red. That's where each and every Lulu Bell goes. Every Thursday. Come with me and we'll attend their jubilee and see them spend their last two bits putting on the red. Fred Astaire. RCA's model 75X11 from 1947. I apologize for the editorial comment, but <laughs> it's, hey, it's my video. Thanks for watching. More radios on the way.